In Creo Parametric, there is a mechanism connection called 6DOF, which has a specific use, and that use is for drop tests. I will show drop tests in another video, but in this one, let's take a look at how to use the 6 degree of freedom mechanism connection. Here I have a very modern cell phone on the computer screen. I'm going to use this to set up an assembly for a drop test. I will click on the new icon. And let's create an assembly and I will call it drop test. And let me use my default template. I'll click the OK button over here. Now I'll bring in a component for the ground. I'll click on the assemble button. I'll go to in session where I have a part I created called ground. And I will use the right mouse button to apply the default constraint and then hit the middle mouse button or check mark to complete placement of the component. Now let's bring in that phone. I'm going to click on the assemble button and let me find the name of the phone over here. I'm just going to drop it over here for now. Let's position it approximately how I want it to be in the drop test. Let me start out with a top view. I'm just going to position this so it's sort of like in the middle of the ground component. That is good there. Let's try like a, oops, wrong button. Let's try a front view to just eyeball the height. And yeah, this height over here is good. About so big i like that and then i'm going to orient it i want to try to do sort of like a worst case situation where it sort of like lands on that little stubby antenna over there so let me try just like angle it just so again i'm just eyeballing it because this is a drop test that i will be simulating about so is good to use the 6 dof connection you will go to the user defined drop down list and here is six degrees of freedom. If I go to the placement tab, you can see that it wants to align two coordinate systems. And I'm just going to select the default coordinate system from the ground part and expand the junction box in the model tree to grab the default coordinate system from the assembly. You can see the indication on the computer screen. And here's where you can define your references for translation in the x y and z directions of this but i don't need to do this for my purposes the connection definition is complete so i will click on the check mark and now the component is assembled with a mechanism connection indicated by the glyph next to the component in the model tree i'm going to create a snapshot real quick just to show you that first off let me just hit the camera icon just to make a snapshot that i can go back to at any point this component now has six available degrees of freedom, three translational and three rotational. If you go to drag components again and then pick on the component, hey, you can see as I'm moving on my mouse, it is translating and rotating wherever. So it is a weird kind of connection in the fact that it does not place any limits on the motion of the component. And again, that's why it is used for drop testing. Let me click close out of here. And there are really two different ways you can go about drop testing. I'm not going to go fully into it in this video, but just to explain the two broad ways that you can do it. First off is in mechanism mode. If you go to applications and then mechanism, here you can see the mechanism connection that we have in here. Maybe you want to apply gravity if you have a license of the mechanism dynamics option. And also in here you have the ability to define 3D contacts. Now when you're doing 3D contacts in here, here you have contact reference one, contact reference two. You go to the selection filter, you can pick surfaces, vertices, or datum points. And I find that really it's, it's datum points and vertices are, are really what it wants to use for that. So you can use the contacts inside of mechanism mode from this icon over here. The alternative and probably the preferred way of doing drop tests is in Creo Simulate. So let me close out of there. 
to get to simulate you go to applications and then we have simulate right over here and right now I'm getting a warning that's saying that hey everything's got to be in the same set of units if you want to do this I'm just going to click on the convert button to make sure that everything matches the assembly set of units and it regenerates okay and now I am in Creo Simulate for doing, fun, or excuse me, geometric element analysis. Here is a gravity load that you can define, so you can specify relative to the world coordinate system or whatever coordinate system which direction gravity acts. But more importantly, for doing a drop test, if you go to the Refine tab, here we have the interface command. There is a method for automatically detecting contacts between different components in here, but I'm going to cancel out of there. The alternative way of defining contacts, if you go to interface over in here, here you can change from free, bonded, and contact. We can change to contact inside of here. And some of the different ways that you have, you can do it either surface to surface or component to component. So for example, for the first component for interference, maybe I'll select this little tab over there. And for the second component, this one over here. And then you can specify other criteria like selection, filtering, tolerance, distances, and angles, so forth and so on. But this is the method essentially for setting up contacts between your two components for simulating drop testing. I'm going to cancel out of here. But again, the point is when you are trying to set up these kinds of simulations, you can use the six degree of freedom contact inside of your model. All you have to do is select two reference coordinate systems between the parts and the component that you're assembling won't have any restrictions on translation or rotation. As the name implies, you have six degrees of freedom. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.